My name is uh, Stephen Takis. I'm a photographer here in Columbus, Ohio, traveling around the country with a room-sized uh, working camera in dark room. This is uh, the long-awaited opening of my uh, exhibition, uh, Brownie in Motion Traveling Picture Show uh, at the Cultural Arts Center downtown. It's going to be up February 19th to March 19th here at the Cultural Arts Center. This is a exhibition of is a multi-year project um, following my travels uh, with a large format camera. Uh, I've been photographing people that practice rare and disappearing trades and crafts. The majority of the show that we're seeing here today is all direct positive, so they're one of a kind, much like a painting. Like when I was in college, I got into you know the mechanics of a camera. I was studying photography, and you know began kind of interested in like breaking it down uh, and seeing the base components of you know, what makes a photograph. And so I've done a number of projects over the years where um, I would take an old piece of equipment, modify it, or uh, to kind of give it a new life. As I worked on these projects, they got sort of bigger and bigger, uh, leading us ultimately to a room-sized uh, Kodak Brownie camera. You know, making images with the camera is like a very physically involved process. I have to actually be physically inside of the box uh, to take a photograph. Uh, the majority of these images are shot on a large pieces of a black and white direct positive paper. So I'll expose an image directly on that, and inside the camera I can actually process it. So it becomes not just a working camera, but a mobile darkroom. So by the time I you know, step out into the light again, uh, we have an image developed right there. Increasingly, everything is more and more digitized. We deal with uh, digital screens and uh, you know, don't physically interact with the world. Uh, so with this project, I wanted to kind of highlight people that are you know, still intently working with their hands. And for me, you know, a working photographer who earns most of my money shooting digitally, this is a nice way to um, kind of get back to the roots of the media, working uh, with film or photographic paper in a darkroom setting. You know, kind of carrying on that tradition, just like the people I photograph are.